Hi, David. Hello, Doctor. Hey, Doctor Schwartz, how are you? I'm great, thanks. So, great. I'm glad that you're joining us today to discuss relationships, uh, Dr. Pepper Schwartz here. And um, it's such um, an appropriate time as spring is uh, in the season for love. Um, <laughs> she's an expert, best known for as the co-host of Married at First Sight, as well as author of 25 books on this subject, and now a new study, AVO, from AVO, a legal service marketplace, reveals how attitudes about relationships are changing. Dr. Pepper Schwartz, it's a pleasure to be speaking with you. Likewise. What can I help you with? <laughs> Well, Dr. Schwartz, why is AVO involved in conducting a research project about relationships? Well, AVO is a site that offers legal help on demand in many categories, but one of the major ones is domestic, you know, separations, divorces, prenuptials, family planning, lots of things where couples either coming into a relationship or out of one need help. And it's hard to do that kind of help if you don't know your customer. You know, what is marriage these days? How are men different from one another on these issues? Or are they same? What's happening in dating? What do people feel about fidelity these days? How does money affect it? I mean, there's all kinds of issues that they need to know to be able to serve people better. And so they did this large national study, which I've consulted on, and I'm happy to bring to the public some of those findings. Wow, great. Um, what are some of the highlights uh, from this? new relationship study? Well, the good news is that most people who are in their relationships are happy. Uh, Two-thirds of women, three-fourths of men are very happy in their relationships. Uh, women have a few more things that they carp about than men do, but uh, in general, that's pretty darn good news. I think the most interesting thing to me in the study was that a full 42 percent of people felt that marriage might be outmoded and were willing to consider other ways of being in relationship, or at least we're in no hurry to go. Um, unlike previous decades where people felt, you know, everyone had to be in a couple, actually only about a quarter of the study felt that was important. So there's a lot more leeway, a lot more liberality of taking people in. There's been a 5% change in favor of gay marriage even in one year, and the majority of people um, around the country do believe in gay marriage, except uh, it's a little softer in the South, only about 40% or so believe in it. But I think the changes of who should be married and whether, you know, same sex or not has changed. I think the question of the permanence of marriage is more of a hope than a belief these days. 85% of people want marriage to last, but a lot of people prepare for that not being the case. So we're in flux, I think, as a nation. Yeah, absolutely. You know, speaking of marriage, <clears throat> um, your show, Married at First Sight, uh, is one of uh, the most unique shows on television. Um, could you please tell us uh, a bit why it's so popular? Well, it's an outrageous concept to begin with. We take the experts, there's three of us this season, take uh, people who apply, more than 35,000 people have, uh, to be married to someone who's a perfect stranger to them. They meet at the altar, they get married, and then we follow them as they go on a honeymoon, go move in together, follow a daily life. And I think people are interested in how people manage. Once there's a commitment in place, how do they make that commitment real? How do they get to know each other? How do they solve problems? And how do they, we hope, fall in love? What does the study uh, show about attitudes toward marriage, uh, toward family planning, um, toward divorce? Well, I think one of the things that we've learned is that while people want marriage, they are not at all too shy or too conventional uh, to avoid it these days. I mean, we do have almost a 50% divorce rate, depending on what part of the country you're talking about, and we found that women in particular are not afraid of being alone, don't feel it's stigmatizing. Um, very few people now feel that divorce is a sin, only one in ten, and 
that tends to go with more religiosity in general. People who uh, attend a religious institution are much more likely to put marriage in the forefront rather than just a relationship. But I think we're seeing that people are getting more comfortable with online dating. They are waiting later to get married. Uh, there's a lot of cohabitation. Uh, there's just much more, more spread on what people think is a good relationship commitment and a good relationship style. You know, it's been a year since uh, <clears throat> it's been a year since we had uh, the, the, the gay marriage law. What's what's gay marriage looking like after this year? Well, you know, it's interesting. Gay marriage has been legal for only a few years, so we really don't have good statistics on divorces. On the other hand, we are getting gay marriage divorces, and I have certainly talked to people where they're surprised at what it takes to get divorced, and people, gay men who um, I've, you know, worked with several couples where they are shocked that, you know, oh my gosh, this legal institution isn't just about declaring your love to the world, it has economic costs. There are all kinds of things that happen when people who were each other's closest uh, turn into somewhat uh, oppositional to greatly oppositional, and then they find they need legal help. They need they need to even know what the law is and what their rights are, and you know whether they could do mediation versus go down you know the rat hole of a protected battle. And and that's why Avo.com did this study to help acquaint people with the fact that there are professional lawyers out there that could be consulted for a fixed fee for not much money to find out what the legal implications are of their relationship. I hope you'll uh, tell your listeners to go to www.avvo.com to see the whole study and also to see the free advice that lawyers give people on domestic issues on that site. I appreciate you having me to talk about it. I will, absolutely. Thank you, Dr. Schwartz, and uh, it was a pleasure speaking with you. Have a, have a wonderful day. You too. Bye-bye.